I'll be presenting you with a series of online videos and you can follow me yourself on any HTML5 compliant device. You can just go to the Soundcraft website under the UI24 and click on software demos. I'm using a larger screen here so I'll be clicking on the tablet. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings page and I'm going to turn off my meters. That's under disable LED meters right now, just so it's a bit more clear on the screen. Let's go through the channel strip. By click holding on the tab, your name tab, you'll have the different things here like channel presets, renaming channels, copy settings of a channel, assign and unassign to subgroups and VCA, stereo linking, resetting a channel, assign me. Assign me is used for the more me function. As you can see here, I'm already assigned to VCA1 and subgroup 1. We'll go through that in a minute. This is showing me my compression, gate, view meter, input and output, mute and solid button, my level, an actual level, and the reason it's green and not blue is because we're assigned to a VCA here and the pan. If we go through the actual gain section, we have the gain level here from minus 6 to 57 dB, We've got high Z delay, and this can be done in milliseconds, meters, feet or samples. We'll just change that to zero right now. That's your input delay and your phase reverse. Double clicking here puts you to zero dB. You can also click and hold and then that you can actually enter any amount you like in there. We'll go back to the mixer and on the select channel, we hit the edit button. And this will then take you to the editing of the channel parameters. For example, channel one and two have the Digitech effects. We'll go through those in a moment. EQ, we have high pass filter right here. And we can select the slope here, 12, 24, 36 dBU. And we have low pass filter as well, again with slope control. We then have four band parametric EQ and the actual parameters for them appear on the right hand side of the screen that you can adjust as well. We have the RTA, we have a deesser, which is quite easy to use. You just select the, you can see on the RTA where an S is happening and you can grab it and then just bring it down a little bit more. Resetting the parameters, bypassing the EQ, easy EQ. Easy EQ will take us to a different type of EQ which is a very simple bass, mid-range, and treble. And then phase reverse for the EQ itself here. We then go to the gate function, and on the gate we have now the added depth control, which is actually the amount of audio coming in before the gate starts happening, so you can get a much smoother opening gate. And the threshold control, as well as an attack, hold, and release controls right here. On the compression, we have the threshold and the ratio here. We can adjust the attack and release and the makeup gain if you need more gain than that. Here we can have a look that it shows us the gate opening and also the actual depth control right here. We have hard and soft knee for smoother compression if you want to enter into it. Effect send, we have four effects processors. Anything with a small chink on the top right hand side that means that the touch and hold you can hold that down and you can change parameters there are quite a few buttons on the ui interface that have this functionality where it's a touch and hold and it'll all be indicated by this little chink on top there so on the effects basically the nice thing is that you all the effect parameters are there right on the same screen so you don't have to go out to another screen to adjust the parameters and uh, obviously you can have three reverbs and a delay if you wanted to. And then we go to the aux sense. The first send I set to a matrix and I'll go through that with you in the next video. And the rest of the actual aux contribution of the kick channel, for example, to the different aux outputs.